Nearly 10,000 Oklahoma children are in DHS custody right now. About 600 of them are waiting to be adopted, but statistics show prospective families will overlook many of them because of their age. News on 6's Brian Dorman is on the story. DHS says every year about 300 teenagers either age out of the system without getting adopted or are not reunited with their biological families. But I connected with one Oklahoma foster family that is opening their home to the possibility of changing young lives. Kids come into custody for a wide range of, of reasons. I went in originally when I was 11. In Oklahoma we have a lot of substance abuse. We've been split up multiple times. Domestic violence, abuse, neglect. I felt an empty gap inside of me that I didn't have my dad. They've not seen what a healthy relationship really looks like. Just do a third of that cup. Until they entered Rochelle Sims home. God gave me a heart that it is easy for me to love others. She and her husband Patrick are parents of two biological children, three adopted teenagers and dozens of foster kids. At first I was like, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. And now I'm like, I don't, couldn't imagine my life any other way. But it wasn't easy and didn't come without struggle. Colby, now 18 years old, was just 12 when he was placed with the Sims with his younger brother, Gunner. The person that they knew of me was a kid that was always doing drugs and just was really mean and hateful and just didn't love anybody. The brothers have been placed in 18 different foster homes, mostly separated. When you go to a new home, you, you want to have someone there with you that you know, it's like your family, and then when you don't, it's hard. Even though the Sims adopted the boys, Colby continued to rebel, eventually running away from home. They live in survival mode, um, and we have to be okay. Um, and be okay to let a little chaos into our lives for a little while. The couple didn't give up on Colby and sent him to a rehab facility. Actually, it's been like life changing really and truly just to know that they, they see the love and the passion inside of me. It's just awesome. But there are hundreds of other kids in Oklahoma still looking for that same love. This traveling photo exhibit, the Waiting Child Heart Gallery, shows the faces of that need. These families have the opportunity to be that model for them and to literally change the course of the child's life. Like the Sims have done, Colby now speaks publicly to counsel other kids. You ready? Stay next to Bubba. There you go. And Gunner is active in right, sports, along with his adopted sister, Jarius. I can't even tell you like the confidence they have in themselves. Um, they still struggle, but that's not the focus. The focus isn't the struggle, the focus is success. To date, the Sims have touched the lives of more than 30 kids, including Hannah, who is now aged out of the system. Yeah, I'm not in foster care anymore, but I still I'm a part of their family. Yeah. Come here, come sit with Dada. I fail a lot, you know, but I always have to go back and do what love does and make sure that I'm looking out for the best in them. Somebody's always out there for you, you know, nobody's, you're never alone. There's always somebody rooting for you. Of the nearly 600 kids that are waiting for adoption, nearly half of them are teenagers. If you and your family are interested in more information on how to adopt or foster a child in DHS custody, just click on our free News on 6 app. On the scene, on the story in Tulsa, Brian Dorman, News on 6.